This is Pat Cagle, Library Director of Black River Technical College. In this video, we are going to look at how to use the resources that are available online. You want to go to www.blackrivertech.org. You will come to the home page like you see here. Scroll down on the home page all the way to the bottom. Fifth column over, you will see the library. Click on that link and it will take you to the library homepage. This is the library homepage. You will find a, a directory of all the things we have available. You will have our library hours, contact information, so we are going to go to the online catalog first. This is your online catalog. It's how you're going to find books and resources in the library. First, you, uh, you can log on or you can use it like it is. If you don't log on, you will find the books in the library, but you will not be able to see uh, the databases information that we're going to go over in a minute. So if we log on, your passwords are in Moodle. For the OPAC password, you are going to use your first initial, last name, and last four numbers of your student ID. For your password, you're going to use the eight digit month, month, day, day, year, 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 year of your birth date. So let's, and mine is a little different because I've set it up different. Okay, and I am logged on. And so then we are first going to look at the OPAC. This is your home button. Anytime you click Black River Technical College, it takes you back to home. On the side, we have our library hours. And this is, if you logged in, this is the summary of your information. You can look at your finds at any time you want to, uh, books that you have checked out, your history, or if you've made any lists in the OPAC, they're there. We also have a direct link to the articles in the databases, periodicals, and ebooks. We also have a direct link for interlibrary loan. On the other, other video, I talked to you about how what interlibrary loan is and how to get your interlibrary loan books. Remember, if we do not have a book you want, you can um, fill out the interlibrary loan form and we will find the book for you. It'll take seven to ten days and then you can come pick it up at the library or we, if you are in Paragould, we will send it to you. ArcLink, if you, as a reminder, that that is so that you can use other libraries within our consortium, just like you would use our library. So if you want an ArcLink card, you can go ahead and fill out that request, and then you will have to pick that up. Or we can mail it to Paragould if you're a Paragould student. Uh, if we have something, if we don't have something you want looking for and you think we need it in our library, you can recommend a purchase down here. Okay, now then up here looking for books. If you are just wanting books that are in our library, you're going to have to hit the down arrow, switch to catalog, and I'm just going to use gun control because it's kind of a controversial subject right now. And we're going to tap in gun control, and we're going to hit go. And then we'll bring up, it says that we have 35 books on gun control. And you can scroll down there and see them and you can tell if it's available or not. When you click on one of these titles, let's go down here and just click on one, let's get this one. It will give you the title of the book, the author, it'll give you the subjects that that book covers, and some of the books it will give you a summary. Some do not, it just depends on when we pull it up from our mark records. You go down here to the bottom and collection is where you're going to find the book. Remember that core collection are those that you can check out. If it says reference, you must use them in the library. The card catalog number right here, the call number, that is what you're, how you're going to find the books in the library. Remember they are in Library of Congress order, alphabetical order. So this is going to be in the HV section and this is the number it is and if you need help with that, remember always ask someone we are there to help you this one has a browse shelf 
So if you want to look at this book, and you might want to see what books are next to it that could be help you out, you can just click on that, and it will bring up the books that are next to that book on the shelf, so it's something else that you may want to look at. Okay, we're going to close that back. And we're going to go back. If you want to go back to your results list, you click over here, back to results. And there are the rest of the books, and you can do them all the same way. And that is how you find the books. Remember, we are always there to help you find them. Now then, you can also go to the database section from this screen. You do not have to go to the database. This covers the databases in the discovery collection that we will talk about in a minute. You can go to the databases, click on gun control again, and hit go. Now it brings up what information that we have in our databases. You will want full text articles. So you always want to make sure your full text article is checked. Full text articles is just like having uh, the magazine right in front of you. You will also want to narrow this down uh, all the way because there's to about five years. Take a minute to scroll. And that cuts your number of results down. Let's go on down and narrow it down some more. We want to go ahead and narrow it down to about four or five years. You want the most current information that you can. You will also probably want to limit your uh, types of information. On this one, we're going to put on academic journals and update. As you notice, our results keep going down. You might also want to come down to language. If you are just an English speaking, you may want to put English and update so you only get English articles. So we have narrowed them down to 3,900 articles which is a lot easier to manage. Uh, if you want, a full, you want to read one of these to see if it goes in your paper, click on your full text. And it will bring up the article. You can print this article, read it online, send it to your email address, however you want to save it, if it's an article that you want to use. And that is how we pull up the articles on the, on the OPAC screen. And if you ever want to go to home, you just go back to home. That is the database. Now then let's go to databases and let's see what kind of databases that we have. Okay, we go to the database screen. We're going to go back to the library at home. Click on databases. And we have several databases available to you. The one that we looked at just now was EBSCO Discovering Collection, which is also here. Uh, we have JSTOR, which is used by our history teacher a lot. Um, it is Histories and Humanities. LexisNexis is Cases and Law. And Medline, of course, is Medical. We also have two, if you're doing research for ProCon issues, some of your teachers will require you to do that. You will use Issues and Controversies or SIRS Issues Readers. Those are great for Issues and Controversies questions and research. So let's look at EBSCO first. And we have already done a research in, on the gun control in EBSCO. This is the service that is on the OPAC, the, Dis the discovery service. And when you put it in, you just hit it. It brings up all your articles. This database goes across all of the databases and pulls information from all of the databases so it is very popular to use but you get a lot of hits like gun control is a million so you will want to go down and limit to full text articles limit over to you know, to limit how old your medic your magazine articles are see if we can get them to pretty current you will want current information when you're doing research. And then you can see we have narrowed it down 
by quite a bit. You could also click in academic journals. And then again down here you want to do your language and let's click on English. And as you can see, we went to over a million down to 6,600 articles. And it, this, this works the same as I showed you a while ago. You can pick one up, click on the full text. You can read the article, save the article, print the article, whatever you need to do. And that is basically how you use all of the databases. They all work that way. ProQuest is a database separate, and if you go into ProQuest, they have several databases that you can pick from, or you can search from all of them, just like you did in EBSCO. Okay, that is how your databases work. Let's look at the periodical page. Here are the list of periodicals that we have available. We are continually updating that. If you click on the blue links, it may take you to the magazine itself or some information about the magazine. We do not have access to all of the magazines online. Uh, the newspapers, we have Arkansas Democrat, Clay County Courier, Commercial Appeal, Jonesboro Sun, Paragold Daily Press, Star Herald, Times Dispatch, USA Today, and Wall Street. All of those we have online. Your passwords are in Moodle. Your passwords for the database, so as if asks for a password, are also in Moodle. And if you also need have trouble getting into Moodle, or if you need some help with your password, you can always contact us. Contact information is on here. You can always email me or Brittany or Ellen. Let's go to the ebook collections. Your ebook collection, Salem Press, has only has three books in it right now. To log into that, it is Black River Tech and then your password is just Black River and you're going to log in. It will bring you to the Salem Press books, and at this point, we just have three in there. Those are some that we purchased, and it has American Book of Days, Reformers, and Famous First Facts. You can click on those and bring those up if it's something you need to use. Go back to um, eBook Central, and if you want, you just search whatever book you want to search. And there are 22,000 books on gun control. You can also limit this by date, subject to get some, a less number of books to use. You can download these. You can read them online. Or if you're not needing the whole book, just a certain chapter to fit your research paper, you have a table of contents page. Or you have a bookshelf if you want to put them on the bookshelf and use them for a while. That just bookmarks them for you. So you don't always have to go through here and scroll down for them. That is another ebook source. And our last ebook source is EBSCO. You can also get this, and you'll have to log in probably if you're at home. Since I'm at school, it didn't require me to log in again, but if you're at home, you probably will. You're going to click on EBSCO Web, and it will bring you up all the databases. But if you scroll down about midway, you will see the ebook collection. And you can type in there, find whatever book that you want. See if it has anything on gun control, and it does not. Find a book that you may have. Let's type in drugs. And it has lots of them on drugs, of course. We have three books here on drugs. That is how you do the ebooks in EBSCOhost.
We're just going to go to home. Go back to the home page. And as I said, you have uh, also some more information here. This is our contact page for me, Brittany, and Ellen. You can call either one of us or email either one of us. Our email is on the bottom. We're always there to answer questions. Our library hours are here. And if you need, remember, remember, remember that your passwords are in Moodle to all the information. But you always can check with us if you need anything. And if you have any questions, you can email me, call me, or you can come in and I will help you. Thank you.